test, test. All right. Give you this one first, and I'll go use the other one. Can you hear me now? All right, we have two working mics. Awesome. So, one more time while I'm kicking off the announcements here. This is your last chance if you haven't gotten any pizza or drinks to grab some before we jump into this uh, presentation. Uh, we're going to be delving into uh, intro to SEO in just a few moments. Um, so, bear with me here. I should have had my notes already pulled up to be able to make these announcements, shouldn't I? All right. We have uh, our new schedule as of a few months ago, so some of you folks have already gotten used to this, uh, but uh, I see several new faces, so I want to share this with everyone. Uh, our actual meeting kicks off at 6.30 and runs until 8.00. Um, this gives you plenty of time to get stuck in traffic if you like to uh, sit parked on the highway. If you prefer not to park your car on the highway and honk at other people, uh, I highly encourage you to see if you can take uh, early uh, leave of your workplace. There's an open co-working space down here that is free. <coughs> your laptop, pull up a seat, get some work done. That closes up at 5. And then at 5 o'clock, I open up a conference room for a pizza party from 5 until 6.30. <coughs> so instead of sitting in traffic, you are invited to come down here, get some work done in the co-working space. When that closes, come and join us, network, chat with your fellow SEO folks, and uh, have some pizza at the same time. The alternative, like I say, is sitting in traffic. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, that makes our meeting start roughly at 5 with the networking part switch over to the presentation at about 6.30, and then at 8, I chase everybody out of here, and uh, that doesn't necessarily end the day. There's usually a small group of folks that head over to Rookies, which is right around the corner from here, to grab a beer, and uh, that's where a lot of the um, job opportunities occasionally come up, uh, discussing projects that people may have that they're working on, or asking for more in-depth information about your specific uh, questions about SEO and online marketing. So uh, definitely don't discount that event. A uh, quick question that I like to kick things off with in order to sort of seed the networking at the end of the event. Uh, who here is looking for a job in online marketing or SEO more specifically? Quick show of hands. Got a few hands, at least one that was pulled down there, so it looks like maybe somebody's looking, but uh, doesn't doesn't necessarily want to get scooped up. Uh, <laughs> might, might need to bribe them with a better salary, I don't know. Uh, so there's uh, three or four people here that are looking for work, and quick show of hands, who here either is hiring or knows someone that is hiring? So we got at least one hand there, so... Uh, the job hunters and the job huntees, you know who to chat with at the end of this event. Uh, the pizza that I previously mentioned is uh, paid for by our generous sponsors. So one of the things that you can do to help me make sure that our sponsors renew and uh, uh, help us with having this venue and uh, keeping the food and drinks flowing for these events uh, is to snap a picture and uh, possibly send out a little tweet thanking our sponsors. I'm going to rattle off a list of names here for you. If you want to shoot a message to them, thanking them, that would go a long way towards helping me to keep them coming back as sponsors. First up, we have Bing Ads. Additionally, there's Deep Crawl, A2 Hosting, Look to the Right, The Design, Reunion Marketing, and Opsis Marketing. They've also been rotating on the screen in front of you here. We have a slideshow with all of our sponsors. And last but not least, data-driven marketing is the topic for our event coming up in February. If you take a look at the calendar, the topics and a good number of the speakers for the entire year of 2019 are already published. So do yourself a favor, look ahead, figure out which events you want <coughs> to be at, make sure that you don't miss the things that we have coming up, 
and uh, go ahead and get in your RSVPs. We do have people uh, RSVP'd for events going all the way until December this year. So the calendar's already starting to fill up. Get your seat. Without further ado, we have Jake from uh, Method Savvy, who will be doing a presentation on uh, introduction to search engine optimization. I was lucky enough to see this talk at uh, Internet Summit back in November, and uh, it was a really good presentation. Uh, since we don't confine our speakers to a really tight 30 or 45 minute kind of window, and we leave plenty of time for questions and answers, Jake has uh, expanded this presentation to delve into some of the details that he didn't have time to get into uh, during his other talk. And uh, he also has ample time during or at the end. Which do you prefer for the questions? Both is fine by me. All right, so throw your hand up whenever you got a question, and feel free to interrupt the presentation, and we'll switch over to questions. Jake, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Everybody hear, hear me okay? Okay, good. I am not used to holding the mic when I give talks, so this should be a little tad bit interesting. Let me throw this up real fast. Works. Okay, very good. So uh, thank you to Frank and the entire uh, Raleigh SEO meetup team for having me here. I actually started coming to this meetup about eight or nine years ago, and I can't believe they f I finally tricked them into letting me up here. So thank you very much for following for my BS. Um, so uh, as Frank said, tonight I'm going to talk about search engine optimization in the user-first world, which is really a fundamental kind of introduction to SEO. And um, we're going to cover a lot of ground, about 100 slides. I swear to God, this does not take as long as it sounds. Um, but uh, really, I like this to be interactive as much as we can. So feel free to raise your hand, ask me questions, and there will be ample time at the end um, for questions. And since Frank's uh, going to buy me beer later, I'll head over to uh, the, the after party as well. OK, so uh, getting started here, for those of you that haven't met me yet, hi, I'm Jake. I am a husband, father, serial entrepreneur, and all-around music nerd. Uh, you can connect with me on Twitter at Tundro and on uh, LinkedIn as well. And uh, me and a couple dozen of my closest friends uh, run a company, uh, marketing consultancy in downtown Durham called Method Savvy. And uh, we're in the business of helping good people build great companies. And what I really mean by that is we work with ambitious leaders to help them achieve their highest purpose in business and business and society using omnichannel marketing. So we have a fancy, oh, it's not working real well, fancy five-phase work methodology that allows us to be more strategically focused and tactically efficient. However, not here today to talk to you about method savvy, thank goodness. I'm here today to talk to you about SEO. So a couple of things before we get started here. One is if you would like a copy of this deck, please email me, jake at methodsavvy.com, subject line, Raleigh SEO Meetup. Uh, I was working on this deck even this morning, so this is the newest version. Happy to share it with you. Um, second is if you haven't noticed already, I tend to talk a little quickly. <laughs> so as we go along, yeah, if you want me to stop, repeat myself, again, feel free to, to interrupt, interrupt me. Um, last but certainly not least, I also have a terrible tendency to curse like a sailor. So I apologize in advance if uh, any foul language slips out. I grew up in Philadelphia. Yeah. What, what can I say? Um, okay, so before we get started here, I just want to get a sense of the expertise level in the room. I know this is an intro to SEO, but I like to kind of tailor the conversation to the room. So just quick show of hands, who here is a true beginner? Like, you know, you have maybe a little bit of background in SEO, but not a ton. Okay. Who here considers themselves an intermediate? Like, you understand the basics, but you want to learn a little bit more. Who here is an expert? Nobody? Okay, good. Nobody can tell if I'm fucking it up. It's great. <laughs> okay, so let's get going here. Um, a lot of people, particularly marketers in my experience, tend to view search engine optimization as this um, kind of black magic exercise that can be really complicated. And I'm here today to tell you that is not true. There, if you focus on it in a couple of fundamental ways, you can do really great work without having to worry extensively about technical stuff. And I think the best way to think about this is kind of take go the way back machine and you know think about 
why search engines exist. So if you go back to the kind of early mid 90s, you had the yahoos of the world that were really human powered directories, right? They were, um, as they framed it, the front page of the internet. They were curated experiences by these editors that were trying to elevate websites that they thought their audience would be interested in. And then Google comes along in the late 90s and says, no, 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 I think there's a better way. We're gonna use algorithms to deliver relevancy. In particular, we're going to look for trusted websites that are really well aligned to the, the searches that users uh, are, are conducting. And, you know, we all know who won, right? You know, Google's the 800-pound gorilla in the space now. Uh, if you include Google search, uh, YouTube, which is the second largest search engine in the, in the world, and Google Images, which is the third largest search engine in the world, they have about 92, 93% of all search market share. So they, they're very dominant player in the space. Um, and they've really evolved the experience from this kind of text-based uh, interaction to something much richer. So on the left side, you have what's called the local pack. You know, we've all seen